guys, my name's Chris, and this is my 1974 HQ Ute with 308 in it. Uh, electronic distributor, quadrajet, standard sort of setup, three speed on the three manual. Um, this is my first uh, tutorial, so I thought um, I've got to pull the engine out to replace the climbing chain cover and uh, put a new cam in it. So I thought I'd run you guys through a step by step basic procedure to um, remove an engine uh, safely. And um, yeah, effectively, and uh, hopefully, you guys uh, learn something out of it. Cheers. Okay, guys, just to run you through what I've done so far, we've just uh, prepared. Uh, so, I've got my basic toolkit here um, just socket drivers um, and uh, open end spanners, a couple of shifters, my screwdriver set, and my engine crane here. It's just a standard engine crane with a uh, 8 ton ram, um, zoom out there, yep, basic engine crane. Um, you got the settings up here, uh, all the way from 1000, 750, 500, 250. Um, I'd probably suggest using the 500 kilos to remove the uh, engine and the gearbox together, um, although I'm going to be using the uh, 250 um, because I've got a bull bar and I just need a bit of extra height over the engine to lift it out. Um, so far what we've done is um, always a good idea to put some chocks under the back wheels um, to stop it moving. Um, so you can see here I've just put a couple of metal chocks in front and behind the rear wheels just to stop it rolling. Um, then I've jacked up the uh, car just with a couple of red gum blocks under the um, front of the chassis rails if you can uh, see there on both sides they're only about a foot high just to give us a bit of access under there to drop the tail shaft and the extractors um, yeah so basically we'll get into it now the first procedure is to uh, remove the bonnet so it's a couple of uh, bolts on each side we'll be uh, removing those and good idea to have a mate like Stewie here <laughs> to help you remove the bonnet because the tire can be heavy and um, some people like to put a bit of a rag under the um, tip here just so it doesn't um, scratch your cowling if anything does happen. Um, next after the bonnet removal I'll be taking out the radiator so drop the bottom radiator hose off first down there take your clamp off and uh, drain the water out you can just chuck a bucket under there to catch it without making a mess. Uh, under your top radiator hose uh, take him off off the uh, thermostat housing and and the radiator and then there's uh, four bolts holding the radiator on um, sort of top and bottom on each side um, you can see in here yeah there's one of the bolts there and there's one down the bottom so you basically just take him off and uh, yeah once again get your mate to help you lift it out just to get it out of the road and then uh, we'll go from there Alright guys, we're up to uh, removing the bonnet. So what I've done is undo the back screws on the hinge. Uh, as you can see they're removed. And the front ones, I've just sort of put it in a couple of turns on both sides. Um, so Stewie's holding that side up. So uh, what we'll do is we'll remove it together to make it a lot easier. So I'll just show you what we're going to do here. So, Alright, so we'll remove the bonnet. Okay guys, so um, bonnets off, um, carby hats off, good idea while you're sort of at this stage, um, oh yeah, remove the um, accelerator cable, the um, heater hoses, so just uh, there pull the, take the heater hoses off as well, off the uh, thermostat and the water pump. They're just the ones that come from the firewall, so just 
I'll probably piss out water somewhere, so yeah, there we go, let them drain out a bit. Okay, so um, yeah, we're basically unbolting the radiator now, and um, as you can see, it's uh, compulsory to have a stubby of Melbourne nearby when uh, working on cars. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll pull the radiator out now, and oh yeah, another good thing, um, if you're pretty new to this, just with all your wiring, it's a good idea to label everything. So you can see some tags I've done here, like uh, these are the heater hoses to thermostat, to um, water pump. I've got some um, B positive for the alternator here and um, ignition ones and just basic oil sender unit wire, just so you know where everything's going. You can put it exactly back there. It's just a yeah, good idea to label everything. Just okay, cool. Okay guys, we're removing the radiator now, so me and Stu, we've undone all the four bolts. Um, just holding it in by the top two with the inside nuts off, so we can both just uh, remove it, slip it out, Stewie, forwards, and try not to bend the fins on it. Alright, I'll keep these nuts. Just go and put it over there in the bolt. Okay, so that's the uh, radiator out. Uh, good idea to keep all your uh, bolts and that somewhere where you can find them. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll also uh, take the dizzy out. So I've undone the spark plug leads and undone the um, retaining clip. So the dizzy's just uh, pop straight up and uh, turn them around as required. So yep, dizzy straight out. So it looks like an octopus. Scary piece of equipment that is. That's a Pro Comp style distributor with the um, vacuum advance module here, and this is the um, inbuilt um, electronic ignition uh, coil pack. Sorry, what am I saying? Inbuilt coil pack, so it's not an external one, it's all built into the cap head. Yeah, um, gives better spark too, running um, electronic dizzies on these. The Bosch ones that come with the uh, VKs and stuff, VHs are also good to use. Um, this one was about 70 bucks on eBay, so um, yeah, it's called a Street Fire. Um, just dizzy, come out of Sydney for about 70 bucks off eBay, so not a bad investment. Um, okay, so next we'll uh, probably just disconnect some more wires, like I'll take the Altmayer um, plugs off. As you can see here, I'll just start doing that. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll undo those, like the body earth strap and that. Um, yeah, and I'll uh, yeah take off the starter motor wires. You want to make sure those are um, off when you remove your engine. And yeah, I'll take um, this is the brake booster vacuum hose. Um, take him off. Probably need a a um, pair of pliers. Yeah, pair of pliers. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, um, after that I'll probably start on um, unbolting the extractors. Thankfully my extractors have actually got a, um, a three part bolts as you can see here. That's the extractors coming out of the engine into the collectors and I've got um, a join here so that's an easy way of uh, disconnecting the pipes from the engine. On other exhausts sometimes they're all welded through. Um, you've got to actually disconnect maybe to join at the muffler or the collectors or something like that. But yeah, mine's nice and easy. Um, yeah, so we'll do those wires, undo those uh, exhaust flanges, and um, yeah, we'll uh, go to the next stage.